Today we'll be speaking to Santosh George, who is the director of Cure International India. So Santosh, to start off, could you tell us what Clubfoot India does as an NGO? Wonderful. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Sean, for inviting me to come and chat with you. It's definitely an honor to have uh, such young, bright minds talking on uh, the development work that we do, uh, because such interactions really inspire us. I work with children born with the club food, and this I have been doing for the last uh, 12 years now. And we work only with the government. So we have signed agreement with all the 29 states and at the national level, we work very closely with the government of India. And the vision is uh, to see the disability from clubfoot completely eliminated from India. And from working for the last 12 years, we believe it is possible. We have treated more than 77,000 children and we are treating children in uh, 324 designated weekly club food clinics. We are a team of more than 200 very committed people. And uh, so it's very exciting experience. It's just not just kind of uh, working with children, but we have an extraordinary aim to completely eliminate disability from club food. So that's what I do with one of my organizations, which is Cure International India. That's great to hear, Santosh. So my next question is, what can students our age, you know, I'm 18 and I have lots of friends you know, in Mumbai and other parts of India. What can students do to help in, uh, you know, curing this disease of clubfoot? I mean, is there anything we can do to, you know, improve the, your organization in terms of helping students who are suffering from this metabolic disease, is there anything? students can do volunteer, how, how, how does that work? Because you know, lots of students are, you know, affected by COVID-19, they're all secluded in their homes and there's nothing much they can do except for, you know, use social media, and other forms of media on their phone. But what is it that students can do, you know, all around India to, you know, help out in club foot? Is there any, any volunteer programs that are offered by our organization? We, we welcome everyone. We welcome everyone because people ask us this question. Can I join your organization? Can I join your program? So I tell them, see, what we are running is not just a program. What we have is not just one organization. What we have initiated, and this I've been doing for the last 10 years very intensely, is we have, we call it the transformation struggle. You know, you know, you know the freedom struggle. It took several decades. It took several generations to bring freedom to our nation. And we have started something called transformation struggle. And this transformation struggle, we want everyone to join. Definitely we want the students because you are the bright minds. You are the leaders of tomorrow. Our job is we have started. We have sustained it for the last 10 years. So it's a decade now. But we know to transform our nation, it will take few generations. But we will transform. We are there. So it is not just touching and transforming the lives of children with the club food. We are working with children with other disabilities. We are working with children in the margin who are prone to drop out from the education system. We are working with youth who are struggling where to find a job. We are working with widows who lost all hope, don't know what to do in life. We work with young women with the disabilities to make sure that they have an income and they are not a problem for their families. We work with children living malnourished so we are actually creating, we are into a movement and we call it transformation struggle. So everybody is welcome. 
whether you have money you don't have money you are welcome whether you are a student whether you are retired you are welcome whether you are young elderly you are welcome because freedom struggle we were fighting with somebody from outside india a foreigner and our task was to send them out and we did it successfully in 1947 right now the struggle is actually see the enemy is within enemy is in the form of our attitude it's in the form of our behavior it's in the form of our lost hope we are reviving that we are telling that india is going to be an extraordinary country when we together work we can transform every child we'll make sure that everyone has access to help we'll make sure that 9000 people need not die in india every day because of hunger related issues they are very confident that 70 million children need not live malnourished in india we can change that so for everything every problem we face in india we have created a program because we believe for every problem there has to be a program and all these programs we have created kind of thinking outside the box so nothing is traditional but our determination is very 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 strong so our goal is very clear and so we are moving forward so shawn i will be happy if tomorrow you call and tell that you have 10 million youth joining this program we have so much work to do and only when we are together when we are large number when we are dedicated we can actually take this forward and move towards a goal as quick as possible right okay thank you so much santosh is and you were also talking about last time we were talking about how club foot has affected children so is there any way you know parents can also help out like in terms of donations because you know i've been working with offline education campaigns for helping our students who don't have access to education because of because of you know everything is moved online because of covid-19 so is there anything parents can do you know who want to step in and start you know, mm-hmm. donating anything towards club foot absolutely 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 see we need resources without resources we will not be able to sustain this programs that we have started you know uh, the main main problem we are facing is ignorance again you see this is a model this is a model this is how it looks when a child is born with a club foot the foot is twisted inside and upward and if it is not treated the child will remain disabled and imagine a girl child will never get married we have seen many many young women with the club foot untreated club foot not married never been to education institutions they lost education opportunity so our struggle is when they are young immediately after the birth we have to make sure that they are getting treated and we treat them without surgery no surgery just the manipulation and the weekly casting but the key is once the foot is corrected we have to give them a special shoe that they have to wear for 5 years only night and nap time only night and nap time night time because the human bone grows only during night time so we want to make sure that the bone is growing in the corrected position so they have to wear it so this involves lot of expenses so we train doctors you 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 will be very encouraged to know we have trained 6500 doctors in the last 12 years from government medical colleges and hospitals in india we work only with the government and we have treated 77000 children on average we provide 6 to 8 some cases 10 foot abduction brace the special shoe and each of the shoe cost 1000 rupees so an average of 10000 rupee we spent uh, in 5 years to completely transform the life of one child so if we get we will be very very happy and we have we have good support that's why we are able to sustain this program we have support from um, the gas authority of india from bharat heavy electronics electricals india from engineers india limited from shipping corporation of india from rotary international from red cross 
from many international organizations. See, that's why we are able to sustain. And so many individuals. You will be very happy to know again, we have many children donating. See, when they see that we are transforming the lives of children, many children approach us and tell that, see, we are celebrating our birthday, we would like to do something, um, something meaningful. So they donate 1,000 rupees and ask us to give a special shoe to a child, maybe in a very remote village. And giving is happy. Giving brings a lot of contentment. So we encourage that. So you're not giving us, you are giving to children. You are giving to families who cannot afford this otherwise. So please encourage um, and to invite as much donation as possible because we have so many children waiting for treatment. Um, we will be very encouraged if you are able to help us. Excellent. Uh, I'm, I'm so happy, Sean, you asked this question because, you know, uh, we, are, we, are in a, we are in a time that many don't appreciate that selfless giving. You know, ask, you know, you know, nishkamaka. You know, don't expect anything, but just give selflessly. Give to even people and children you have never seen and let their life be transformed. And be, that's amazing. And uh, it's a very, very, very encouraging talking to you, Sean. Please ask more questions. I'll be, I'll be very happy. I'm, I feel so encouraged even answering all these questions to you. That's great to hear, Santosh, because, you know, I'm also a student who is, you know, just getting through university. And I also feel that, you know, giving back to society is very important because at the end of the day, you need to understand that teachers who have brought you up and you and your parents and people around you, they've always have had the right reasons to treat you, and, you know, being in Cody school, being in interacting with so many friends of mine from Bartlett, Dom, Senna, yes. and other friends. I feel that it's very essential to understand the fact that there's also a section of society which is being deprived of so many resources. And it's very essential to give back because see, at the end of the day, when you, you know, go back home or you also need to understand that you have some form of you need to give back to society because you know we've had the privilege of studying at such well reputed schools and colleges but it's also important to understand that some people aren't as fortunate so santosh my next question is how like you know there's lots of scope of you know giving back into to society and club foot is one such organization which you know helps out students but what about you know people outside India is club foot only you know in India or are there also you know people who are affected by club foot outside India and how what can students do you know to step in like there's lots of these fundraisers now on Kito and other such websites so what can students do to you know give back and as you mentioned that you know lots of people require these surgeries and treatment is available but what would you say to someone who doesn't know about clubfoot how would you get them more accustomed to how clubfoot is and what because you know as i've seen your website but you know how do you persuade a small uh, a person from Generation Z to, you know, give back because there are lots of, you know, you know, quotes where people say no need, no point. But how do you convince a person who is, you know, a teenager to give back who's just starting out in life? How would you, you know, sort of convince them that you know, club foot is something that actually exists and you need to really, you know, step in and bring in donations. Yeah. Them. So how how would you persuade like? A person my age yeah. because people think that you know it's okay to not do anything about anything but how would you sort of persuade someone my age because you know i'm a teenager so i wouldn't like, see, yeah. i would uh, i would ask see i come across many youths i come across many friends and all of them want happiness they all want success. And to all of them, I tell, 
So if you want success, if you want happiness, start giving. That's what I tell everybody. So when you give, actually, you're not giving anything. It's nothing is yours. It is only that you are in possession of certain resources today. And only when you give, you realize the value of whatever you have. And um, so, I, so I have this uh, kind of an equation. I tell people, you want happiness? If you want happiness, you start giving. And you will not be able to give unless you gain. So also learn, learn the principles of, of gaining resources. Because people have to learn that, how to attract resources and wealth. So you have to gain it. And to gain resources, you have to have skills. So you have to attain skills. You have to have, you know, personal development. You should know how to actually handle tough situations. So it's actually kind of a cycle. People try to bypass certain steps. That's where actually they don't experience that contentment and fulfillment in life. So I tell them that, yes, start with acquiring all the knowledge and the skills and the wisdom that you need. And when you gain, start giving back, as you rightly said. And when they give, then they get a lot of happiness and they get a lot of contentment and satisfaction and success in life. So um, to make giving simple, I would suggest for all the friends in India, it's very easy. You can go to our website, clubfootindia.in. Clubfootindia.in. Go to the donation link. You can just make a donation. It's very easy. But for those friends outside India, you cannot directly send to our bank accounts because there are certain regulations that we have to follow. So if you are interested in donating, raising funds and sending to support children in India, you can contact us. Go to the website. There is the email that is given. That is info at the rate clubfootindia.in and then we will share you the specific bank details and there are certain information that we require. Who is donating? For what purpose they are donating? Because we want to make sure that we kind of practice the best kind of uh, responsible uh, accountability possible. So giving is easy. Please uh, contact us and I'm sure Sean in the description, please put my email ID and the website and all the details. And we will be, will be very happy to receive some support. And please remember, when we transform these children, maybe through our time or talent or treasure, whatever, uh, be guaranteed that your life also will be transformed. Because we feel that inner joy. Otherwise, you will never be able to get it. There is no other way to get that kind of uh, uh, a different feeling. And I wish some of our youngsters soon discover that before they discover anything in this world, that, that, that inner peace that they receive when they give. Not only money, give their time, give their kind of helping hand, whatever it may be. We deal with uh, parents who come from extreme poverty, who, do not, who did not get an opportunity to kind of succeed in uh, education. So many times they don't understand uh, you know, the, the stages they have to go through in the, in the process of treatment. So imagine some of the children who are, uh, you know, in a position to complete education, who have access to knowledge, access to information, help these parents and work with them. That'll be amazing. I have some students who work with the parents. I told you it takes five years to complete the rehabilitation. Some of our student volunteers start interacting with the parents and then walk with walk through five years with them because see, they are very well connected with the mobile, but the parents are not connected. The student volunteers are connected with the internet and they can get more and more information, but the parents are not connected. So imagine somebody who is in a better position walking with this family for five years. It'd be amazing experience. And I'm telling you, more than those 
children who are born with the club food, the kind of treatment and the transformation they receive, those people who walk with them, their life is transformed in five years beyond limit. So what is waiting for you is kind of, um, it is, uh, it cannot be defined. It is priceless. So please encourage as many people and we have extraordinary opportunity. Wherever they are, wherever they are in the world, um, join us. Uh, we will train you how you can be successful when you work with us. We will train you. We will handhold you. And we are together in this journey. Yes. Okay, thank you so much for your time, Santosh. I really appreciate this. And I will be putting this video on my YouTube channel and you can have a look at it on WhatsApp as well. Thank and you. If, if there's anything <laughs> else that you need, do let me know. And just, you know, in the disc in, on the WhatsApp, just text what I have to put in the description, your email ID and the various links that I'll, I'll send you. Yeah. I'll send okay. you. Thank you so thank much, you so much us, Santosh. I really appreciate it. Yeah. All the best. And Senap and Abiko are here and they are doing some work. So if you are also coming to Delhi, you are welcome. And we'll be, we'll be very happy to have you also here. Yeah, I'll just, I was actually calling them yesterday. They didn't pick up. I'll just call them once. But... Oh, they are, they are, they are busy. I don't know what they do, but then if they are not doing anything, I know they are playing. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'll just that... and ask. Oh, thank okay. you. I will also tell them that they should call you back. Thank you. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you. All the best. All the best. All the best to you too. Thank you. Thank you.